Hi, my name is Rick Fowler. And I'm Natalie Ford, and Rick and I are both university professors, and we're also licensed professional counselors. We developed this model for grace-based counseling on two observations. The first one is that pastors often are not prepared to counsel uh, people who come into their office, and so we wanted to develop a book that would help them do this. And then the second observation was that most counselors don't have a lot of biblical training to help them counsel from a biblical worldview. So this model was developed to kind of fill in the gap. Right, right. One of the emphasis we have in the book is that on counselor sanctification, people say, well, what does that mean? We believe that the counselor needs to be biblically and psychologically prepared to counsel people when they come to their office. Right, so we use the acronym GRACE, G-R-A-C-E, right. to guide our counseling. And the first letter of that G is God's image. We believe that everyone is created in the image of God, and because of that, they have worth and value that is right. innate. And the R represents rebellion. We live in a sinful world. We are born with a sinful nature. And even though all the problems are not result of a sin, all problems have directly related to the sin nature that we were born with. Right, from living in a fallen world. Living in a fallen world, yeah. true. So the A in grace-based counseling is altruism. Right. A lot of Christian models only tell you how to counsel Christians, but we believe that God has equipped us with wisdom and knowledge to counsel believers and unbelievers. Scripture tells us that God causes it to rain on the just and the unjust. There's this concept right, of common right. grace. Uh, Psalm 145.9 says this well, the Lord is good to all and his mercy is over all he over has made. All, right. The C is connection is mandatory. And what we have developed in this book is a distinction between a capital T truth and a small t truth. And what we know in scripture is what we are to, supposed to articulate to our clients. And that is that God's word always trumps anything else when we are counseling individuals. Absolutely. And then the E is empowerment. As Christian counselors and as pastors, clergy, we never enter the counseling room alone. We right. are empowered by the Holy Spirit. And so we can lean on His wisdom when we don't know what to do. And so Absolutely. that gives us peace Absolutely. and confidence. Absolutely. And one of the other things about the book that we hope that you enjoy is the toolbox at the end. Since a lot of pastors don't have any surveys or questionnaires to give out to their uh, counselees, uh, we have added this dimension to the end of the book that we think will be very helpful to them. So we really hope that grace-based counseling is a powerful tool to help counselors right. and really challenge them to grow in their own walk with Christ and to also help pastors to kind of have some practical tools to do. Right. Um, <laughs> one way I like to say it is, uh, I grew up in the South, what's in the well comes up in the bucket. <laughs> That's true, it is. So whatever is in our heart is going to be the overflow into our counseling. So if we want to counsel from truth, we have to continually feast on truth. Very good. Very so we good. hope grace-based counseling will be a great resource for you. Thank you.